what do I do when I want to sustain some teachings? What do I do when I want to sustain practices? And I came up with five um, things that I think are essential. And the first is intention. Because intention orients us to living a life that matters. And if we don't have intention, really it's the habits of our lifetime that kind of guide us. We're all over the place. So, you know, you can set an intention daily to live your life as if it matters, whatever that means to you. And James was talking last week about the Bodhisattva vow, this very deep intention to dedicate your life to um, compassionate service, really profound intention. So intention is not a goal or an affirmation or a hope. It's an expression of your deepest longing, whatever that is, your deepest longing to live a life that is consistent with your true values. Sometimes I think that we, um, we feel a disappointment that we're not consistently expressing the truth of ourselves in our lives, the truth of our, um, our spiritual beings in our daily lives. I, mean, I, think this, I think each of us have a longing to do that. We intuit that there is something more that we could be living with more intimacy with others, more intimacy with ourself, more intimacy with our deeper values. And so making an intention every morning before you kick your, bed, your legs out of bed um, and then recalling that intention throughout the day is really helpful. It's like having a rudder on a boat. It just orients you. Um, Every morning before I get out of bed, I make a vow. And it's usually something very simple because I'm an early riser and I don't get poetic that early in the morning. So I, you know, I open my eyes and I feel into my intention. And it's often something like, may I be a benefit to all the beings that I encounter today. And my, may I open to each moment exactly as it is without wanting it to be different. Something like that. And I was inspired to start making this daily vow when I heard that His Holiness the Dalai Lama has a daily vow that is much more poetic than mine. Um, he says, for as long as the earth and sky persists, may I assist all living beings. Beautiful, right? For as long as the earth and sky persists, May I assist all living beings. And Vinny Ferraro, who was here earlier, um, he says that he and his wife make a vow every day when they wake up. And they say together, we vow to live fully in the moment in this day and to see everyone as an expression of the divine, especially each other. 